Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grantville, Pennsylvania, on Friday evening, December the 2nd. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race four this evening, folks. 7.13 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is an eight and a half furlong route test on the dirt track. Three year rolls and up racing for an allowance price of some $32,000. Contenders number 10, Easy Lead. Number 11, Two Taverns. Number 4, Last Call for Disco. And number 3, Rascal Flatter. Number 10, EZ Lead, the overall speed leader in this allowance field tonight, racing at or about. Tonight's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt is a perfect 2 for 2 into the circle, racing at tonight's distance. He's turned in power run performances and 5 straight starts, hitting the board in 3 of those adventures, winning twice. Jockey Clinton Potts has been in his irons on one previous occasion, posting a win back tonight for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number 11, two taverns, an 8-1 to one shot, has hit the board in four of his last five, including a power run win in his fifth race back. Race 4 summary, number 10, Easy Lead, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 11, two taverns, number 4, Last Call for Disco, and number 3, Rascal Flatter, 10-11, 4-3 in the fourth tonight from Penn Nat. Bonus long shots, Finger Lakes Race Course, Upstate New York Race 7, number 3, House on Toilsome, 5 to 1 in the morning line. The overall speed leader in this allowance field is pretty at 6 furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia, Race 9, number 7, Let Me Don, an 8 to 1 shot, takes a 5 level class drop this evening, has hit the board in power run fashion in 3 of her last 5, including a more than 7 length power run win in her second race back. So handicapping from Penn National on a Friday night. I'm Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.